Alrighty, guys. Um, great team win. Um, all Pac-12 wins are, seem hard, uh, especially you know when you turn the ball over like we did today. I have to give great credit and the game ball to our defense. Um, without without them, I don't know if we win that game. Um, it's hard to win with four turnovers, and for them to get it done, especially on third down, six of 17, versus an offense that puts up a, a heck of a lots of points this year, uh, game ball to them. Um, offensively, the, obviously, the turnovers were an issue that we've got to get cleaned up. But what I was really proud of this team was how they finished. In a 14-14 ball game, when things not going your way, all of a sudden you make an 80-yard drive on offense to go up 21-14. Uh, they come back, make it a field goal, and you got to end the game with four minutes minutes plus and as fine an executed uh, four minute drive as I've seen and really a special play by a special player, a veteran player to understand the game situation in Juju Smith. To make that play, freshman throwing you the ball, great throw by the way, Sammy, great catch. And then to get that first down, understand where the game was and to get down in and I thought was tremendous. Um, have to credit not only Juju for that play, but there was two other plays that stood out to me. This one right here is as special as I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a play like that before uh, with the pick on the sideline. And Darius Rogers, and it, somebody needed to step up and make a play for us and to go over top of the corner and make that play and take it away from him really energized our offense and, and maybe won the game that one play. Um, injuries uh, for us, Justin Davis suffered a high ankle sprain that pulled him from the game. We'll see how he is. And Jonathan Lockett had a shoulder sprain, the same shoulder that uh, he had last week. So we'll see how that is. Uh, with that, I'll answer any questions that you have. Coach, how inspirational was this win coming from the win last week and building on the momentum? How is that building the team? Uh, uh, progress? Well, we were in a hole at one and three, and last week we put the shovel down and this week we started climbing out of the hole. Um, and to get back to three and three, um, to, to get our second Pac-12 uh, win um, puts us you know, in position to continue for next week. Uh, right now we're in a playoff mentality and, and every every week's like a championship game and you've got to treat it that way in the Pac-12. But yes, it was a very inspirational and needed win for our team. What's the difference what with think? the pressure you've been getting on the quarterback? Um, I think two two things. I think our four-man rush technique and fundamentals have improved. We've made it a point of emphasis. And then scheme-wise, Clancy's calls right now are ultra-aggressive. You know, And uh, I think he's doing a tremendous job uh, dealing different style of pressures with different coverages that are backed up. Then all of a sudden dropping eight. He's really mixing it up extremely nice as a play caller. I think it's, I think it's keeping play callers in check and, and also confusing young quarterbacks. You're in a game where you're, you could be up 28 to nothing, yeah. like 14 to 7, and you're holding them. What are you thinking at that point in time? My primary motion was just stay poised for the team. You know, don't get over emotional. You're, you had a lead. It's 14 nothing. You're not playing well. Oh, it's 14 7. It's 14 all. You know, if you get over emotional or you start panicking, your team's going to feel that. You know, and you get there as a zero zero ball game when it's fourteen all. All we gotta do is go down and drive, really have a ton of yards, just a bunch of turnovers, over five hundred yards in this game against a thirteenth ranked defense in the country. You know, all we were doing was hurting ourselves. Just don't hurt ourselves, guys. Let's go down and make one drive. And we did. And then we get it with four minutes and some change on the clock. Let's end this thing. And uh, between the offensive line, the backs, a smart quarterback, and a wide out, really finished the game off. Very proud of them. Sam, where, where are you trying to go with that ball to, uh, to Darius? And what were your emotions? Like? Yeah, I was trying to put it out in front of him because he had leverage. And uh, you know, it was something we work on in practice every day. We start with the long ball. And uh, I just didn't put, him, put it enough in front of him. But I watched it happen, was thinking pick the whole way. And then he just came up, came up with it. And it was a great play. Clay, what was the role your tight ends played today, especially three touchdowns? It's been a while since they've had one in this mm -hmm. position. Is that something you see maybe them having a bigger role going forward? Yeah, I've, I've said that a lot in our both our training camps. You know, one of the things I, I'll give credit to not only T, but Tyson also, you know, the package that they brought together from Western Kentucky, you saw where Higby was so valuable now with the Rams, um, gets it to the tight end a lot. So scheme wise, I think we're doing some better things to get them open. But then you got to have a quarterback that that reads it out and does his job and um, credit to the tight ends are getting open. The scheme was good and the quarterback's dealing it to them. So it takes all three to get it done.
Well, I said Darius Rogers' catch really could have changed everything. Yeah. From your vantage point, can you speak to A, what you saw and how that did change momentum? Yeah. I was with uh, Sam. I thought it was a pick. And when, when he threw it, he gave him a chance, but kid was a, a, a good length at corner. And Darius is a strong, a strong hand kid and just went over top of him. And once he got it, it was like, okay, this is meant to be. Uh, and that's one of the things that we tell Sam and tell our quarterbacks is just give our kids a chance. If they touch it, they're going to catch it. And he did. He gave him a chance. And Darius made one of those special plays that you won't forget. You know, that was. Interception. How aware were you of how close you were to the sideline? I was very aware um, when I was coming down. I was making sure I seen the receiver where he was and then making sure I knew where I was at uh, close to the sideline. And once I jumped in the air, I was just trying to torque my body enough so I can get a foot down. I was just thinking of like Charles Woodson, how he did it against Michigan State. And that's the whole mindset, making sure I got one foot in and yeah. Sam, what, what is your feeling about winning a game when you turn it over four times? And, and many of those turnovers were, were, were costly, costly points. Uh, right, you know, um, I hate using the word, but first word that comes to mind is kind of lucky. But it's not luck. You, you, you make your own luck. So um, defense did a great job today. Like Coach said, the game ball goes to them. But as an offense, um, you're not going to win a ton of games turning the ball over four times. Um, so I think it's just something we got to keep working on in practice, and we will improve on it. Dory, the, those times in the game when either you touch the ball or it's coming near you, can you feel the energy in the building rising up during those times? Yeah, so my whole mentality is that uh, if I touch the, the ball, I can just get a party started. Uh, I feel myself as a lighter fluid to the barbecue grill. I throw it in there and the fire gets started. So uh, my whole mindset is just to make sure I do whatever I can uh, to help the offense out and make sure the defense you know, gets enough rest. You spent so much time training to try to make the Olympic team. And I'm just curious, do you feel a little bit of that athleticism on that pick? Yeah, because we work on bounding a lot in track to make sure you, you have great control in yourself or the body. So it's the hitch technique. Uh, when you're in the air, you got to make sure that your arms and your legs are moving, and you have to be great aware and make sure your core is tight. So I guess you could say that those training skills came into play today. How much, um, how much dip, distance between your foot and the, uh, and the line on that when you came down? Probably like an inch. It was real close. When I looked at the screen, I was just happy that the crowd was happy. So, <laughs> and it was going to be too close to overturn it. So I was just glad I got it in bounds. Sam, you seem to show a lot of composure in crisis. What do you attribute that to? Because clearly, someone who's as young as you are, you know, don't display the characteristics of a of a, of a racial freshman. Right. Um, I mean, I like to credit my coaches, the coaches I had in high school, and even Pop Warner, but. Um, when it comes down to it, I think it's my family and how I was raised. Um, you know, my parents did a great job of um, keeping me confident and knowing that um, you just got to be cool with yourself. And no matter what anyone else thinks, you just have to control what you can control. And at the end of the day, um, you can't control the past. You can only control what happens in the future. So um, you just got to look ahead and um, take it play after play after that. When the play were in the first half where it was a fumble and then you kind of ran back chasing it and still went play, how do you determine whether to get rid of it or try and keep the play alive? Um, right, you know, uh, it's got to, um, in that regard, um, I think i got to do a better job of knowing when a play is over and not trying to fight so hard for it because a lot of times, as you guys saw today, it ends up in a fumble, um, ends up in me losing the ball, something like that. So i got to do a better job in that. So. Um, personally, looking back on it, I could have jumped on top of it and just been safe that way. But, um, you know, I picked it up. A guy was kind of grabbing my legs, and I got out of it, switched fields, and found Tyler. And he did a great job just staying and just uh, believing in me and believing in my ability to get it to him. So you, you, you've talked about those plays and Sam's ability to kind mm -hmm. of stay poised. Mm -hmm. How do you advise him, you know, when to try to make those plays and when that might not be advised? Um, when you have a, a kid that has this this amount of instinct and, and create creatability, I don't think you handcuff them. You know, um, I, I, like I told him, drive it like you stole it. You know, and, and <laughs> you, I think you play the game with no fear, um, and and he does. I mean, there's going to be mistakes. That's going to happen with a redshirt freshman, and we'll live with it. But he, he's one of those guys that you don't make him a robot. You don't make him – you don't handcuff him. He does some things that people can't do, so let him do it. Let's do one more. Clay, uh, 
apologize for asking you this to, about Sam, like Sam's not in the room. Mm -hmm. What type of improvements have you seen from the beginning of the season to where we are now? Um, he is, you know, he's making good decisions with the exception of the one interception. You know, that's his first interception on the year. I'm um, in the passing game. I'm astounded just how he is, you know, usually as an early quarterback, you get locked into different guys. He's distributing the ball to everybody, and he's truly going through progression. He's truly reading the entire field. Those are things that don't happen very early. You saw him re-slide protection today multiple times to see pressures and get get himself picked up, understand he's not hot, get the ball out. I mean, those are those are things that usually happen later in life, and he's doing them now. So, very proud of where he's at. He's not a finished product by no means, but uh, he is. Uh, he's he's helping us win football games, and I'm proud of him. Thank you, Thank you guys.